Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up your cane enable properly and in addition I'm going to address several issues that people have been having uh, mainly being that you're getting kicked off whenever you start or stop poisoning um, I have had that issue in the past year and I've managed to solve it uh, and I hope that it works for you too so let's go ahead and get started this warning uh, I can ignore it I don't know if everybody can ignore it I guess it depends what your setup is with your antivirus and your firewall settings um, if you really want to get rid of it just go ahead and uh, go into the master control setting or whatever for each of those and just turn it all off um, obviously you don't want to like surf the internet at the same time that you're doing this but if you really want to make this go away that's what you can do I have personally found that it doesn't do anything as far as uh, hindering it. It works the same, like it's the same piece of crap. Uh, normally, if it, uh, if I turn off the, if I turn off or I turn on the firewalls, uh, the real issue is with how to fix it. So it's not a piece of crap anymore. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to remove this here. I'm going to click that in click the blue button you're basically searching for this stuff if you're not seeing anything here um, when you do that what you want to do is uh, go to configure and go to the sniffer tab if it's not already up you're going to be looking at whatever devices you have here so um, I mean I only have two some people are going to have a lot more some people are only going to have one or two like me here um, the, what you want to do is uh, figure out which one is getting you your Xbox which will say Microsoft Corporation and uh, your router so for me that's going to be this one the don't use promiscuous mode sometimes people have that checked sometimes they don't I mean I just have it checked just to uh, it seems to work best for me when I do so uh, go ahead and do that also you can use it you can use can enable wirelessly sometimes it's not that consistent but you, what you want to do is go over here if you ever want to do it and there should be like a list of devices uh, for some people it's going to be a lot more again and then just do an active scan that's obviously not the one so I'll go to the next one and then those are my devices and then you would just pick whatever device is yours so yeah that's how you would do it wirelessly and I have done it wirelessly in the past um, but like I said, it's very inconsistent uh, unless there's something that I'm not realizing, but I've tried just about everything with this. Um, so again, back to this. Uh, right now I do have an Ethernet cord with everything. My Xbox is connected to my router with an Ethernet cord, and my computer is connected to my router with an Ethernet cord. So everything is wired for me right now, and that is going to be the best setup you can get. Uh, for as far as consistency goes so alright I already did this thing up here where I got the I found these guys in here all I gotta do is go down this get rid of this basically just gonna refresh it because it was the same for me last time but just for the sake of showing you remember your Xbox one so you're gonna go back Microsoft Corporation whatever that number is that one is going to go first. Your router, this one says Netgear, could be Linksys, could be whatever. Whatever the brand of the router is, that's going to go second. So you're going to go back here. Make sure you're clicking in so this appears. If you don't, it's not. You're going to be like, oh, why is it not going? But yeah, just click in there. That's my uh, Xbox. And then that's going to be my router. So I'll click OK. Now after that, uh, this is where people start having issues when they start poisoning typically um, right here I've got Xbox running it's on Battlefield 3 and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start poisoning I'm not actually gonna enter a game here but you can still pick up the uh, the servers uh, from both Microsoft and for uh, the Battlefield 3 servers you can pick those up so
just going to do that quick. Alright. So I got to do, obviously, go to poison. See, it's picking up the IP. It's doing good. That's going to be, whenever you see a 65.55, obviously that's going to be a Microsoft server or a, like a Bungie or whatever server. Um, stay away from those. 159, I have no idea. That's got to be Battlefield. Um, yep. And there I go. So, people have been having this issue. I had this issue for the longest time and I wasn't able to solve it. I Like, I would get the IPs here, but I mean, it doesn't do me any good when I get kicked out of the game. So, the way you want to solve this is obviously, here you stop poisoning. I just want to get rid of this here. Keep everything the same. Don't mess with anything. Just make sure it's not poisoning for now. What you want to do is you want to go back to the dashboard. Once that gets done loading here, try to connect to live. And it's going to say something like you can't connect usually here. There it goes. So yeah, you want to test your connection. But before you start testing the connection with this, what you want to do is you want to start poisoning again. So go ahead and press this button. Go back to the your Xbox. Go to wired network, test the connection, and whenever I do this, it seems to go through. So once this gets done here, you can actually stop, uh, well, you can sign in first and then stop poisoning. Um, you might get an error here. Let's see if it gives it to me, um, saying that one of my ports isn't open or something like that and then if you go into game before you stop poisoning it'll actually tell you that your NAT is set to moderate um, this is only the case because you're still poisoning once you stop poisoning it should be fine um, and that's what I found it might not change the notification but like everything gets set back to normal um, yeah it all here it is connection warning and yeah, it's telling me that my NAT is moderate or whatever, but uh, just ignore that. So go back here. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You want to keep poisoning for now. You want to sign in first. And then once you're signed in, you want to stop poisoning. Go back to your Xbox. Let's start up this again. That's oh, just disconnecting me because I'm starting up a game or whatever it does that. It'll get me back on. This should solve the issue. Um, if you're having any sort of other issues setting it up, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out um, I mean I've literally experienced just about every single error and 
uh, issue that I, you could possibly have with Cain and Abel. Uh, for the longest time, you know, I actually still think that this is the case where it's actually the, the reason why it's booting you off when you start or stop poisoning is because your router has firmware or some sort of firewall set up that you can't take down. Um, I've been told that if you get a better router, either from your company or you get one yourself, that you can actually turn off those firewalls or they aren't there. Um, and whenever you do the port forwarding and if any of you know how to do any of that stuff, that is also going to pretty much eliminate any of the issues that you're going to have with this. I mean, but as of right now, all the necessary ports are already forwarded on this and everything like that. So if there's no reason it should be doing that, kicking me off. But, um, unless it's the router. And that's the only explanation that I have for it. And that's the only good explanation that I've heard, um, that I've heard about it. So let's go ahead and test this again. Go ahead and poison. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't picking it up before, but when I click on something to try to interact with it, it yeah, it's getting a response. So, yep, should be good to go. Double check here. The best way to look at that is when you uh, click on your friends. If you're getting kicked offline, it won't even load their pictures. But as as you can see here, it's loading everything just fine. Um, so that's the that's the biggest telltale sign. If you start poisoning or you stop poisoning, and you go back on your friends list, and you can't even see their pictures load, that's not a good sign. That means you're getting. That means you're gonna lag out and yeah I mean it's loading fine again so that is how you solve the issue you can now go into games pick up IPs and uh, do all that just fine without have to worry about being kicked so again if, uh, if any of you guys have any questions feel free to ask I'm gonna leave the website which is uh, www.ultimatebooting.weebly.com uh, we are currently selling both VPS and dedicated servers very good quality I got some other videos that you can check out if you want uh, that is where I use uh, this guy so yeah it's a lot of fun um, it was a lot, of, a lot of fun showing you guys how to do this uh, I hope that this solves all of your issues and uh, have a good one thanks everybody